Hey guys, welcome to Freedom in a Budget and January's mid-month budget report card. I am so excited to bring this to you. It has been a pretty good month so far. Um, so let's dig in. Oh, and before I dig in, I am battling one of those colds that is going around with the sore throat. The cough hasn't really started yet, um, but I am drinking some tea. So if I pause for some tea and you hear the slurping sound, I am so, so sorry, but it is because my throat is super raw and I cannot talk. So bear with me if you do hear that. Again, I apologize, I hate that sound, especially in videos, but if I have to, then I'm going to have to take a quick sip. So let's jump right in. My side hustle for the month has already um, come up to $614, which is just awesome. Um, so that is reflected right here. 14, 16, it was from Amazon affiliate links. You do sometimes see links in my description box of different products or different things that I've used and those are affiliate links. So it is no cost extra to you, but I do receive a like tiny little kickback, kickback. like typically it's like three cents per purchase. Um, so over the past several months, it has accumulated up to 14, 16. So I got to check this month. And then a couple of babysitting jobs, 400 and 200, bringing us up to 1614. Then Capital One 360 bonuses, um, and there's a link down below the description box where if you sign up for Capital One, you receive a $25 bonus, and I received a $20 bonus. So thanks to you guys, I was able to get $160 worth of bonuses this month, which is incredible. So between that and some working some overtime at work, I am already up to $1,080 extra than I expected for the month, which is awesome. And it is not even the second paycheck. So hopefully with the second check, there's some, I think there's some more overtime coming. I'm not positive about it, I believe so, which is exciting. Then tithe is blocked out as always. Rent is actually, this part doesn't have to be blocked out. Um, so um, then we have rent is $1,100 as always. And I cannot get this color right. I'm sorry. Oh, goodness. Still wrong. There we go. All right. Rent to $1,100. Electric hasn't come in yet. Renters insurance, the same. Um, iPhone internet hasn't come in yet. You fit Weight Watchers $22.50. I do pay $45, but my work reimburses me half of that. So I just pay twenty two fifty a month. Groceries we are at forty fourteen for the month. Um, so let's see, I have fourteen forty one for the Amazon the PB two, which there's a review video coming shortly. Stay tuned for that. Um, Aldi eight eighty six, Publix five twenty nine, and Aldi eleven fifty eight. Um, typically I only shop at Aldi with, but with Weight Watchers and there's some products that Aldi doesn't carry that I'd like to get. Um, so I will be getting those at Publix or Walmart. So that's why you see those purchases there. Eating out $13. Um, oh, so this was a burger at work. I have been craving this burger from this restaurant for like probably two and a half years, not even exaggerating. And so to my coworker, I was like, you know what? I have so many in the eating out budget. Let's just do it. So we splurged and got burgers at work and they were delicious. Um, they messed up the fries. So I had to get them to resend them and whatnot. So I overate drastically, but it was so delicious. So that was a burger from Jono's lunch. Miscellaneous 1187 post office, which was mailing out a giveaway. And then $6.99 from Amazon, which I don't even remember what that was, but it was something fun. Then let's see what else. Gas $24.27. That's just one gas fill up there. I need to get gas soon again. And let's see. So that brings us there. Then my debt. So um, Nelda is all paid that I just pay the minimums. Navian, that minimum is $87.62. I've already paid $26 over and then I have two more payments. As you guys know with Navian, I make weekly payments um, because it saves on interest. I don't know why it works. It doesn't mathematically work because interest accrued is interest accrued. But for some reason, when I split up my payments and make them every week, um, 
my interest for the month is so much lower than if I just pay it all at once. So that's what we do for that. Um, so my current Navient balance is $4,697.94. Nelna is sitting at $13,726.97 for a total debt of $18,424.91. We are chugging away. Um, emergency fund is sitting at $1,000. And as you guys know, I do not fund my sinking funds until the end of the month. So that is the wrap up of that. And I actually have a video coming out of how I finalize my budget for the month. So I took December's budget and before I did my report card before I filmed that, I actually just filmed the process of how I go through my sinking funds, how I finalize it, how I decide how much to put towards each sinking fund and transfer the money over and all of that. So that was a requested video that is going to be coming out in the next couple weeks. Um, and that is a recap of December's budget and just how to finalize it. So stay tuned to that. I'm not sure exactly when it's coming, but it is coming before my January report card. I will promise you that. So that is the totals. And then let's look at our debt. So debt paid off 2016, I paid $3,907.15 towards principal. Interest $638.28 for a total of $4,545.43. So far in January, I have paid $147.41. Interest $93.86. And a total of two thousand, or I'm sorry, two hundred forty-one dollars and twenty-seven cents. So that is my mid-month January report card. Please let me know down below in the comments how you are doing for this month. I hope that you are staying on track. If you are not on track, get back on track. The month is not over. You don't have to wait till February to get going. You can start now, and you can um, get right back onto it. And if you're doing no spend January, I hope that you're doing awesome. And I hope that this can be an encouragement to you to stay with it. The month is almost over and you can do it and stay strong. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.